Hey, it's Scott Ornick, Cruise Consulting, and today I'm answering the question, how do I do my own bookkeeping if I'm a startup? And you know what? That's a really great question because not every startup is ready to start paying an accountant right away. Like sometimes money is super, super precious and you're not ready to start buying back some of your time. That's essentially what people are doing when they hire us. They buy back some of their time. So here are a couple quick tips. The first thing you want to do is connect your bank accounts inside of QuickBooks to the QuickBooks Banking Center. That will allow QuickBooks to pull on the bank APIs and pull all the transactional data into QuickBooks. So that's probably the most important thing. The next thing you're going to do is actually label and categorize all the transactions. So like your Uber expense, for example, you're going to type in Uber and you're going to put it in the ground transportation or travel categories in QuickBooks. The next thing you're going to do after you get all your transactions entered is you're going to reconcile the bank accounts against a actual bank statement, like the PDF bank statement. Or if you're like us, you use Plaid, but it's highly unlikely a do-it-yourselfer would use Plaid. And so you're going to actually make sure that what's represented in QuickBooks matches the bank statement. The bank statement never lies. QuickBooks can have rogue transactions or weird stuff happening. That's why you reconcile it against the statement to make sure it's true. We've had companies that didn't reconcile, bring up the wrong cash balances or quote the wrong numbers at board meetings and the founders or you know even financial people get in serious trouble when they do that. So always reconcile against QuickBooks and your bank statement. The next thing you're gonna do is sign up for a Brex credit card. We really love Brex. They make accounting really easy and the Brex sync actually will probably cut your bookkeeping time by 25 to 40 percent just because the sync comes in with the transactions and the categorization labeled correctly so that's going to save you a lot of time and then the final thing you're going to want to do after you reconcile your statements and get everything hooked up is just check out our blog post on what vcs want to see in terms of financial information from a startup we've got a really extensive blog post there it'll help you out but they basically always want to see your cash balances they always want to see your burn rates. They want to see your cash out date. They want to see the number of months you have in the bank of runway. And then they're always going to want to see a breakdown of like the big expense categories. So those are things VCs care about. And you know, when you're raising money in your startup, you by default care what VCs think because you're going to get money from them. So it's always good to know who your customer is and who you're reporting to. So hopefully those five steps will really help you. And it's okay to do it yourself for a while. Just call us when you're ready. No pressure. We're here when you need us. Thanks. Bye.